This YouTube video will be on throttle by wire issues, Harley Davidson touring bikes, primarily from 2008 until 2012. It'll include service bulletin information and check engine light codes. Um, I'm going to divide it into four parts. There's actually going to be a fifth video that I actually did before I decided to do the rest of this. Uh, I decided to do it because some of the stuff, maybe even a lot of it, isn't covered at all. Other stuff is covered here and there, but nothing conclusive that kind of wraps it all up and puts it into one place. Um, the main codes that are getting experienced here are P2138 and P1510. It could be other P2100 codes, but those are the two main codes. They cause a limp mode or a limited performance mode. The limp mode, we all know what it means, I think, like 45, 50 miles an hour, and that's it. Can't really get out of your own way, let alone anybody else's. The limited performance is a lot better. Uh, you can travel at full speed. Pretty much if you live in a flat area and you don't get on it it might just seem overly sluggish but go up a good size hill at 75 and you'll be down to like 50 by the time you get to the top uh, why is it happening there's two throttle sensors that have to together come up with a sum of five volts and and they they trade roles along the way so if you're sitting at idle you might have one at like zero and one at five and if you floor it you might have this one up at five and this one down at zero you could idle at like two five and two five but I mean it could literally be any combination along the way but it has to add up to five volts if it's ever off by 13 hundredths of a volt. It clicks the code and puts you into limp mode or limited performance mode. And you'll be that way until you turn the bike off and turn it back on again. And it only takes a second. Maybe it only takes a half a second, but that voltage change. And so it's, in my opinion, very, very picky. Obviously, it shouldn't be happening, so what's going on? It's the term being used is fretting. Uh, it could be the, the, the metal on the wire thinning. Um, let's see. That'd be the terminal there. It could be, it could have gotten thin and worn off a little bit. So the connection isn't as good as it should be. Uh, it, it could have gotten oxidized. It, uh, it, it could have gotten too hot. Uh, I don't know, melted, changed. The wire might have been compromised. So it could be a number of different possibilities, but they kind of group it all under fretting. Um, why is the fretting happening? Because Harley in, went cheap. Uh, they, they cheaped out in an area where they shouldn't. So the connectors that they decided to use are made by Delphi. So they went to Delphi and said, well, which, you know, we need the wires. Uh, you know, which one should we be ordering? And Delphi said, well, we make a tin, T-I-N, one and a gold one. Uh, the, the 10 one would be for situations that aren't critical, situations where it doesn't always need to be perfect, situations with low heat, uh, situations that, that, that don't matter much. And, and the gold would be for situations where it's important to be consistent, it's important to get the proper signal at all times, uh, and higher heat situations. So. Harley should have told them that 
they want gold ones. Or at least part of them should have been gold. And instead they just said, ah, just give us all 10. So we started having problems, lots of problems, lots of pikes going in. Harley Davidson started researching it and they decided, crap, we screwed up. So, you know, they, they looked around and like, all right, well, we're going to have to order these gold ones and we're going to do a service bulletin on it. The service bulletin was TT418. And so they replaced and upgraded those terminals to gold. And they told the techs that if there was any wires they had issues with, they could replace those too. Service Bolton being just shy of a recall. So Harley gets to do it at their discretion. So it might happen outside of warranty and outside of mileage, but it's up to them when they decide that they're not going to. Uh, over time, they started having problems. They continued to have some problems. Some of them were solved, others weren't. Uh, they had to go back to the drawing board. They went to Delphi and they're like, hey, we upgraded to the gold, what do we do? And they explained the situation and the high heat that Harleys have. And, and Delphi said, well, we could custom make you some silver. Silver would do better for heat than gold. Uh, but you know, we don't make them, so we'd have to custom make them for you. So that's what they did. So the, the terminals can only be gotten from Harley Davidson. And they put an A on the end of the service bulletin, so it's TT418A. Uh, and that seemed to fix everything. And in 2012, they added a rubber boot that went on this terminal at the throttle body behind the air cleaner to help with the heat a little bit more. And, okay, so where is it happening? There's three different places that this is happening. The first situation is the seat. It seems to be happening mostly, if not always, because somebody put a custom lower profile seat on. It gets closer to the terminal and somehow affects the wires a little and they uh, set a code. So that's one. Second is the throttle body behind the air cleaner. Uh, the connector's there, it gets really, really hot there. And so there's problems with the connector, the fretting, the, the wires, everything. And then number three is at the neck, uh, they put Harley either didn't make the wires long enough or they did a zip tie too tight, which they did. Um, or maybe the wires weren't a high enough gauge, but there were wires that were actually breaking internally there. So you couldn't see the problem, but there was a problem there. So those are the three potential problems. I'll lead that into the second video, which would be diagnosis, that touches on all that stuff just a little bit more.